now if it's good enough. Brolgadance in front, Aparana into the opens after it, and then Matt's Express. Brolgadance is finding something. It's a metre and a half in front. On the outside, Aparana's trying, but Brolgadance is holding Aparana close to home, and Brolgadance beats Aparana. Third home in the race was... So Darmala. Ravos is in behind them. A length and a half further back is Thursday's child second last, and Cordelisi's has dropped out to last. Out of the straight, they race at the 1800 metre mark, and Mystic Melody on the inside has been headed by Carmen Esk as they run to the back. A length away third, Toy Carousel. A length and a half further back, Abergee Storm on the inside of Mukasha. Back along the inside centre field is the favourite Darmala. Over on the inside of Cowley Cat being followed by Cordelisi's. In behind them is Saltana. A length and a half, Thursday's child is second last, and bringing up the rear down the back of the track is Ravos. About 12 lengths covering the field as they go into the back of the 1400. And Carmen Esk, the leader, two and a half lengths in advance of Toy Carousel. A length further back, Mystic Melody. Close in behind them, Apogee Storm. Damala moving up on the inside of Mukasha. A length and a half then to Cowley Cat on the outside of Cordelisi's, improving her position. She's followed after a gap in the field by Salt Hard. Second last, Ravos. And Thursday's child has got back to last. Coming up to the 1200 metre mark, and the leader, Carmen Esk, is travelling well. About a length and a half to Toy Carousel. A half length to Mystic Melody, getting a nice run over on the inside. Fourth in behind the map. Apogee Storm, followed by Damala, who's nicely positioned. A length and a half further back, Makasha over on the outside of Cordelis. He's followed by Cowley Cat. Going up on the outside there is Thursday's Child, being followed by Ravos and Salt Hart as last of all. At the 800 metre mark, still Carmen Esker's making play over a length in advance here of Toy Carousel, a half length to Mystic Melody. Pushed along on the inside is Damala, making ground over on the inside of Apogee Storm. Then came Makasha, further back is Cordelis, and there followed by Cowley Can. And a bit further back is Salt Hart, up towards the home turn, 450 out, Carmen Esker half length to Toy Carousel wider on the track, Apogee Storm in behind them is Darmala looking for a run, over on the inside, Mystic Melody as they straighten up and Carmen Esker is the leader about to be tackled by Toy Carousel, coming down the outset Apogee Storm and now hard ridden is Damala not responding at the moment, she, she still needs a run though, the favourite, 150 metres left to go, Apogee Storm has taken the lead fighting back Toy Carousel, Darmala in behind them but Apogee Storm's in front close to home and Apogee Storm's going to win it Apogee Storm won a half length to Toy Carousel Cell. Third, Carmen S just ahead of Damala. Bit disappointing in the straight, the favourite. Next time, Cordelisi's followed by Mystic Melody. Cowley Cat behind them, Thursday's Child. And then Rovos followed next to last by Makasha. And Salt Heart has run last. Well, she didn't go to the line nearly as well as was expected. Damala had a lovely run in transit. Needed a run certainly in the straight, but when it did come, there wasn't much in the bin. And Damala... Distinctly disappointing in the run of the post. The winner is the South Australian filly Apogee Storm, written by Brett Preble, who won, of course, the Geelong Cup yesterday on Ancient City. And a nice ride there to land Apogee Storm, a winner in today's 4 and 20 Geelong Oaks Trail Stakes. By Voltage Peak out of Theatre Talk, trained by Dean Saxon at Mount Gambier, written by Brett Preble. And there she is passing the post. A good winner over Toy Carousel. And Carmen S just hanging on for third ahead of Darmala. Most disappointing, the favourite in the run of the finishing line. The winner number four, Apogee Storm, $8.10 and $2.30. Number three, Toy Carousel, $1.70. And number one third, Carmen Esk at $2. Official placings in the Oaks Trail. And uh, talking of the Oaks, I suppose with the uh, scratching of Inner Flurry, the race is um, certainly wider, although I see the uh, favourite for the race at this stage would be Dane Lowe, and she's uh, racing against the Carlson Geldings in the Amy Vars on Saturday. So her run will be watched with a little interest. She's the uh, ruling favourite, and I suppose some chance must be given to uh, this filly, Apogee Storm, who'll now go into the Edward Manifolds, or the um, Wakeful Stakes and then the Oaks. Here she is coming back to scale. $8.10 and $2.30 for Apogee Storm, defeating number three, which is Toy Coracell at $1.70, and third number one, Carmen Esk, pays $2. Quinella, a dividend of $19.90. The exacta, $82.10. The trifecta at $205.90. Yeah, 4 3 one. Thank you, Johnny. Apogee Storm. They're Brett Preble, who'll be riding, just heard, Dodge in the uh, Cox Plate on Saturday. So uh, that.